Mastering Cardinal Numbers and Simple Arithmetic in English Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. In today's video, we'll be diving into a topic that forms the building blocks of our everyday communication. Yes, we are talking about cardinal numbers 101, 1000 and how to use them in simple addition and subtraction. Remember, this understanding is essential for daily life tasks like shopping, telling the time, or even counting items. So, let's get started. Before we go into addition and subtraction, let's take a moment to recall our cardinal numbers from 101 to 1000. These numbers include all the whole numbers in this range, such as 101, 101, 250, 250, 700, 700, and 1000, 1000. Now, let's use these numbers in some simple addition problems. When we add numbers, we use the term plus in English. For example, the sentence 200 plus 300 equals 500 means 200 plus 300 equals 500. Let's try a couple more. 150 plus 350 equals 500. 700 plus 200 equals 900. With practice, you will become more comfortable with these phrases. Similar to addition, we use a specific term for subtraction as well, and that is minus. For instance, 500 minus 200 equals 300 stands for 500 minus 200 equals 300. Here are some more examples. 900 minus 400 equals 500. 800 minus 300 equals 500. Repetition is key in mastering these expressions, so do not hesitate to practice more and more. Word problems bring our learning into real-world application. Let's see a few examples. 1. John has 300 apples and he buys 150 more. How many apples does he have now? Answer. John has 450 apples now. 2. Sarah has 800 candies. She gives 300 to her friends. How many candies does she have left? Answer. Sarah has 500 candies left. By practicing word problems, you are not only improving your number vocabulary but also your overall language comprehension. That brings us to the end of today's lesson. Hopefully, this video helped you grasp how to use cardinal numbers 101, 1000 in simple addition and subtraction. Remember, the key to mastering this is practice, so make sure to apply these phrases and numbers in your everyday life. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you in the next video. Happy learning!